Hey guys, uh, what's up? No, it's been a while on the channel, and today I'm here to talk with you guys a little bit about what's been going on the past four, five, six months, uh, what I want to do with the future of the channel, what happened, I want to talk a little bit about my motivations and stuff, and uh, I want to talk about games that I want to play in the future, talk a little bit about games i currently want to play on the screen that you're seeing mlb the show 22 play that for a little bit we'll talk about madden we'll talk about 2k like i said future of the channel what's going to go on and i'll explain to you guys a little bit about what happened but before we get into all that make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on if you guys want to see more videos like this i know there's probably a lot of new faces on the channel seeing my face for the first time so i'd like to welcome you mainly do sports games here on the shutout channel and uh, i'm excited i'm excited to get back into youtube and no nba supergirl i can promise you that not going back to that game nope no no mlb the show 2k and madden is hopefully what we're sticking to here uh, and like i said we'll see where the schedule falls but without further ado let's just get into talking about the main things that i want to talk about in this video starting off first of all where have i been since february i think was the last time i uploaded i uploaded a couple 2k videos and after that i don't know man that period where i was playing nba supercard and playing 2k i really was enjoying 2k it's just i didn't really want to upload it but at that point i'd been playing supercard since october of 2021 and i was sick of the game in february and i did not want to play anymore and i went through that before i went through a whole phase where i played supercard from like november to november 2020 or december 2020 to june 2021 where i quit after that and then i got back over that october played until this february and after that, I quit. I couldn't handle the game anymore, and I just, I, I decided I was going to upload 2K on the channel. I uploaded, like, two videos, and just NBA Supercard burned all my motivation, man. I could not find any motivation to upload or do anything like that. I needed a break. And that's, that's what I, that's what I took. I took a four-month hiatus. I should have let you guys know, but I mean, you know, it's not like I've got a huge audience here anyway waiting for me to come back, but, you know. I'm excited to get back into making videos for you guys. Like I said, it's going to be on a variety of games. Not not a huge variety. Nothing you've never seen on this channel before. But right now is MLB The Show 22. Obviously, Madden's pretty much dead at this point. Madden, not a lot of people play Madden 22. And why would I play Madden 22 at this point? I stopped playing Madden in, like, November. That's a, that was a big thing for me. I know, like, the past two year and a half on this channel has not been super consistent when it comes to Madden. Madden 20 was so much fun to me, man. I loved Madden 20 to death. That was my baby. And Madden 21, I had a good amount of fun the first half of the year, but... As soon as we got to, like, late January, early February, I just lost all motivation for the game. Could not play it anymore. I'd play it here and there, and I'd upload it here and there, but it was just dying out for me. And at that point, I was playing NBA Supercard, and I was really into the game, so I was like, yeah, I'll just upload this, right? And then after that, in that summer, I was playing it all NBA Supercard until, like, June, and then I got into the MLB The Show, which is really when I got into baseball, and I played a lot of MLB The Show 21 on the channel, and then I took a little, I think it was, like, a couple-week break until Madden came out, and I uploaded Madden 22 until, like, November, and at that point, when I started playing NBA Supercard again in October, I'd been playing and uploading NBA Supercard on the channel, and... Then I decided I was like, I don't want to play Madden anymore, so I'm going to upload NBA Supercard again. And I uploaded that until February, and then we got to the t couple 2K videos made in 2K22, and then I was like, yeah, I'm done. I was going to make MLB The Show 22 videos when the game came out. I just, like I said, I'm, my motivation to make videos was just all gone. Man. I couldn't I couldn't get myself to do it, and now we're here. It's the June 28th when I'm recording this. Hopefully you guys are seeing it on June 28th. Might be June 29th. I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to be uploaded, but things have definitely changed, but I'm excited. I'm excited to come back. Like I said, I want to upload Madden 23. I'm willing to give the game another chance. I'm going to play it for sure on launch. I'm going to pre-order the $100 edition, and we'll see if it goes anywhere, man. But for now, until that game comes out, it's going to be most likely MLB The Show, and that's mainly what you're going to be seeing. I might upload just content some gameplay here and there but just kind of content updates letting you guys know what's new in the game giving you guys methods on the game 
If you don't, if you don't know much about MLB The Show 22 and you're not a big baseball guy, I encourage you to get into it. It's very fun. I think it's the most fun, like, my team or ultimate team game mode there is in all the sports games in its prime. It gets boring fast because the progression is a lot faster than in, like, games like Madden and 2K, so after a couple months it gets a little little more boring than it would in like Madden where the progression system is you don't get 99s until seven months into the game we have 99s day one the progression system is very different so it's a unique game mode and it's really really fun I highly encourage you guys to play it if you haven't already but uh, let's just talk a little bit about MLB The Show 22 there's your news update on basically what's happened what's going to happen hopefully you guys understand but yeah I'm excited to get back into making content now let's talk about MLB The Show 22 I'm not like a, I'm pretty diehard, but I'm not like the most diehard player in the game, as you guys can see. I have a ton of prospects, not a few, not prospects, future stars on this team, but I don't have any of them paralleled, just because I don't play online all that much. Like, I play ranked seasons rarely, don't play online all that much unless it's Battle Royale, which I still don't play that often in events, which I play quite a bit, but I haven't played this event, and, um... Yeah, basically, as you guys see, ranked seasons, I'm 4-1 all year. I don't know how you can see that, but I'm 4-1 I'm on the year, all year, in, in ranked seasons. And I just don't play all that much. Battle Royale, right now, I'm not having the best the best one. I'm 1-1, one and, one, and I really haven't played this BR program as much as I'd like to. Maybe I'll play it a little more. I don't really know. We'll see where if it goes anywhere or not. But, yeah, like I said, I just I do a lot of the offline grinding. Like, I got Rafael Devers, and I just really haven't used it, because... I enjoy getting the card, it's just the actual use of the card and online, I don't play online all that much, you know? It's the team building that's fun. Um, I have used a couple of these cards in online for sure, and they've been very solid in what I've used them. Um, like this Gunnar Henderson, I'm in 385 with him, he has a triple and a home run, 5 hits. He's pretty solid, Yoelki's also pretty solid, 556 batting average, a triple, a double, 5 hits and 10 plate appearances very good card right there this Corey Lee I'm batting a low average with but I've hit like I, I hit like a game winning home run with this guy so love that card other than that like this Corey Seager came out what day one love this card so much I've used him so much in 62 games I'm batting 355 with nine home runs 27 hits and eight doubles 12 RBIs very good card Mike Trout I have on this team obviously I have 76 games 109 at bats, six doubles, three, one triple, 13 home runs, 19 RBIs, batting 257. I wish I was batting better. Like I said, I'm not amazing at this game or anything. I'm not like a super competitive player. I don't play a ton online. I just, I play when I feel like it pretty much. I grind um, a lot of the offline stuff. Like here, I've grinded all the way through the face of the franchise cards in the uh, future of the franchise program. I might try and get this always intense pack, but there's only a day and 14 hours left in the program. So. If I want to, I will. If I don't, I don't. It's simple as that. Um, I grind most of these. Like, I don't have, like, all of this done, obviously, just because I haven't used these cards as much as I'd like to. But, like, I finished all the City Connect stuff. Um, I gotta get this done, but I'm, I'm really done with that. I've got a couple more missions to do. But, uh, yeah, basically, just play the game for fun, and uh, it's nothing too crazy. And like I said, I think mainly what I want to do in this game is give you guys content updates, give you guys tips. And just show you my progression. This is sort of like a no money spent series. I did that on MLB Show 21 last year. Haven't spent any money on the game this year. And uh, we'll see what kind of progression I can make. As you guys can see with collections. Nearly there. Just need Acuna. Who's 280. He's actually gone down. He's 280. He was like 300. I need Hater. Who's like 90. Which sucks. And I need. I don't need Goldschmidt. I have Goldschmidt. I need Arenado. But he's cheap. Um, I have Moki. I need Fernando. That's what I need. 211. So right now the only thing the only thing stopping me is Acuna, Fernando, and kind of Hater. I mean I could buy Fernando Tatis right now, and I might do that honestly, but I, I just I want to get to like 500k stubs, buy both of them, and then just see where I stand there. Get from Ronald Acuna, and Fernando Tatis. I have pulled Shohei Otani and Degrom this year, so that was quite helpful. I already I pulled Shohei when I already had him, and then I I pulled Degrom when I needed him, so that was quite nice. Um, and I have like four Justin Verlanders. I invested in him a while ago. He didn't go 90, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I've been investing more this year than I did last year. So I've been making a little bit of stubs here and there. Like I've invested heavily in Kenley Jansen when he went diamond and stuff. So it's been a good time. Like I said, gonna upload content videos for you guys when it comes to the George Brett collection. 
not made a ton of progress. I've got the postseason veteran, the monthly awards on the tops now done. All-star, we got 42. Breakout, we have 28. Rookie, we have 22. Second half heroes, we have 10. Future stars, we have 13. Prospects, we have 30. Oh, we have 35? What do I have 35 from? Oh, yeah, I got this O'Neal Cruz. I have one of the big dog packs, yep. Uh, face of the franchise, we have 14. Prime, we have 4. Oh, we have 5? Where? What prime do I have? Oh, yeah, this Brad Hand. Yeah, I'll keep him. Uh, I got that Brad Hand for always intense missions, so I'll just hold on to him. Uh, signatures, we got three, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we're not really close to getting George Brad. I'll probably get him eventually, but not for a while. Uh, but with the new program coming out tomorrow, I believe there is an, like, a... Oh, God. There was some revealed cards, but I'm forgetting who they are. Um, I probably will go over that either in a video tomorrow all the revealed cards and talk about those or i'll talk about it just when the program comes out thursday um so we'll see what happens but uh yeah they obviously released the new ranked seasons program not too long ago i believe it was yesterday and we got this um did we get any new cards in here oh that's the flashback so the new cards we got were rod Carew and Brooks Robinson, they both suck. And then we got, in the World Series pack, we got Vlad Guerrero Sr., who, 79 speed in the field is not bad. He's got solid hitting stats, crushes righties as a righty, which, it's fine. And then Javi Baez, second, third, and short, really good defensive stats. Um, really like, really like the look of this card. This card looks incredible. It pretty much just looks like a, like a better Khalil Watson or better Gunnar Henderson, who's pretty much my shortstop and second baseman. Yeah. So, pretty interesting there, but yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Like I said, expect content videos on MLB The Show, maybe a gameplay here and there, talking about tips and stuff, ranking cards and all that kind of stuff, but when Madden 23 comes out, I'm really going to try and grind that, and if I enjoy it, I'll keep playing it. If not, We'll see where it goes from there. I'm really excited for 2K to come out this year. Um, probably going to play a little bit of that on the channel when that comes out in, what, September or late August. Um, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with noties on. But yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.